How's it going, y'all? Today, I'm going to show you the easiest way to find the crates as well as the key cards while doing direct action mission in San Andreas Mercenaries. The crates are located inside of Hall A, inside the belly of the aircraft carrier, and the key cards are located in one of the rooms opposite of the main bridge near the control tower. So now let's get straight into the video. Firstly, you need to pilot your Avenger inside of your hangar, and you want to perform Charlie's upgrades on your Avenger and purchase the operational terminal for 1.45 million. Once you've owned that, simply get inside the back of your Avenger and you'll find the operations terminal. From here, you want to choose LSA operations and then choose direct action. You can't choose the difficulty for this. Rockstar will randomly assign one of the missions as specialists with the highest rewards while the rest is going to be normal. Once you accept the mission, you need to get out of your Avenger and head over to Rooster's office. You'll be asked to contact Rooster and suddenly you'll end up in his Akula Stealth Chopper where the mission is gonna start. You have 30 minutes to complete the mission with no lives which means you can die as many times as you want. You just have to beat the timer. Once again, I'm gonna show you the locations of the crates as well as the key cards. We're gonna be entering the aircraft carrier from Hall C. As you can see, there's an opening right there. You can choose to go stealth or all out aggressive. I'm just gonna go all out in this video so you guys can see the locations quickly. So you wanna take out all the guards and then make your way through the hallway. This is Hall C, I'm gonna get over to Hall A. You'll see like a yellow square in your minimap which indicates that you're near Hall A. The door to Hangar Bay A will be locked so you have to shoot this key card scanner. And now you're in Hall A, just take out all the guards and then get near to the crates as you guys notice. The crates are locked and you guys need to find the key cards. So as you get to the key cards, you want to head upstairs and then head to the middle of the aircraft carrier near the control tower. You want to clear the guards there and keep going up. You also want to pay attention to your minimap. You want to see the yellow circle turn into a huge square. That's when you know when you're on the correct floor. So here you don't want to turn right, which will lead you to the main bridge cockpit. You don't want to go to this room with the monitors and green lights. But instead you have to go to the opposite room. There's a small room at the back and you'll find the key cards right on the table. Once you've gotten all the key cards, when you head over back to the crates where you need to unlock one of them that will have the Torridor. So get on the Torridor, clear the guards, then you want to head over inside of the water. Don't forget to activate the submersive mode. And I just want to bring this Torridor back to land and drive it to the yellow marker to successfully complete the direct action mission. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe for more future GTA videos. This is Joe and I'll see you next time.